Good afternoon, my friends. Welcome back to the channel, Hitchhiking Hit Here. Thank you so much for joining me today. Today is day number two, back here at Lookout Key at Lighthouse Point, Walt Disney World's newest private island or peninsula. It's not technically an island since Alutra is like the entire island. So, uh, but anywho, this is their uh, their second private beach uh, to Castaway Key that opened uh, over 20 years ago. And I uh, gotta say, it's a pretty cool place. The absolutely beautiful ocean and natural reef right here behind us. I kind of covered some of that the other day in my tour video, but today's video is more of an adventure video. We're gonna do a little hiking trail that they have here just to the south of this area where True True Barbecue is located here on the island. And uh, this is this is called Lighthouse Point, and it is for a reason because there is supposedly a lighthouse somewhere here. And uh, we're gonna take a little trail walk today and go hike to the lighthouse itself and check it out because it's, you know it's kind of an historic landmarker here we're going to look at and it might be something fun to do when you come here on your vacation especially when you first come ashore you want a little bit more exercise from your half mile hike <laughs> you know but uh anywho but we're going to go take a hike today and check it out and uh see what kind of beautiful vista views they have down that way it's down to the south as you can see these rock formations right here it's a very overcast day so i think it's a great day to do this and uh kind of knock this out but uh yeah i think we're gonna have a good time down there with some really beautiful views very windy today but it's okay we're going to just hang on tight and make our way down here to the lighthouse hopefully and uh if we see any wildlife on the way down i would definitely make sure to point that out to you because they do have a lot of land crabs and these cute little lizards they're called i think they're called curly tail lizards I've seen a few the other day when I was here, but it was so hot I didn't really film them. So uh, today if we do run into some of these these items, or the uh, bat moth, pretty cool. This is a huge moth. A lot of times people call them bats because at night when they're flying around they look like bats. They're monsters, like seven inches wide. And uh, if one lands on you, you know, they say you're going to be rich. So I will lay down for them to land on me. Okay? All right, that being said, let's go find that trail and let's head on out there and see what we can see today. Thanks for joining, by the way. I really do appreciate it. All right, my friends, this building right here behind me is the Reef and Rec Bar. And that is like the furthest, like, southern building that we have here. This is kind of the end of the road for this boardwalk area. And the only thing you'll left to do as we kind of pan around is to go start walking the nature trail, which is right over here. You see this palm tree kind of shooting up out of the ground right here? It's kind of roundabout right here. And we're actually going to take a left right there. And that is the beginning of the nature trail. So we're going to head in that direction. All right, my friends, we have made it up here to the entrance to the nature trail. And this here kind of give you an idea of what to expect when you get here. If you look at the ground, you know, it's not really a sand like a dusty kind of a dirt it's very white I call this area pink sand beaches but uh yeah so this stone is very ground up and that's what's going to kind of make this uh this trail as as you see my attire is actually shoes because there's a lot of pebbles and stuff like that out through here but uh this is what the trail looks like it's very wide and it uh, looks like it's going to be a really nice walk of it if it continues like this all the way to the lighthouse point area that'd be kind of sweet and uh i really don't know how far it is as far as miles or anything like that or kilometers but uh i'm gonna kind of keep up with my time as we walk kind of give you an idea how long it took to get down here Do you see my wife patiently waiting my arrival here at the first the first little sign this here is going to talk about this this right here this is a money bat moth and this is the one if it lands on you supposedly you're gonna you know be rich afterwards and people think that this is a bat at night that's how big they are so at night when they if you look at my hand they're, they're supposedly roughly around about seven inches wide at night when they fly around people think they're bats which i think is pretty cool so yeah, this here's some of the little things that you can read about as you walk the nature trail. Pretty cool. All right, my friends, we have made it a little bit further down the trail, not very far, but you know, one thing that you notice here at Lookout Key is a lot of things feel very unfinished and this is just another one of them. This little roundabout area here, you know they're gonna plant some stuff in here. So uh, just keep that in mind. If you come here 
in uh, summer 2024 when we're here in June on the inaugural selling to kind of officially open this up. But this right here is really cool because this talks about the curly-tailed lizard. Look at this little guy right here. He don't even just look happy. That is pretty awesome. And uh, just to give you an update, the path itself is still very consistent to what it was at the beginning. So it's not changed on us yet. All right, right over here where we was looking at the curly-tailed lizard. So this right here, we have a fork in the road. You go left, this takes you to the beach. You go right, this is the way we're going. This is the way where it's going to take us to the lighthouse point. So let's hike in this direction, my friends. A little bit of an adventure. I love it. This is actually beautiful. I love the, all the little palms, palm trees. And then we're start. I think we're going to start getting into a lot of this old limestone rock areas and things like that. That's going to be pretty cool. We're just going to make a little pit stop here because I want to show you some of the limestone rock. Check that out. That is pretty cool looking. So somewhere along this trail there is some more limestone rock cliffs that are like 60 to 70 feet tall. So I'm going to keep my, my, my eyes peeled for that. Those right there wasn't very tall at all, but there's some around here somewhere that's like 60 to 70 feet in height. Very tall. All right, my friends, right when we pass that first limestone rock area I just showed you, just take a right and come up the hill a bit. And right here, the sign will actually tell you historic lighthouse is this direction. So we're going to do a little bit of hill climbing, it looks like. They have other places that are, you know, under construction at the, at the moment. Like it's closed area here and they have this other stuff that's, you know, kind of closed off. But this is a work in progress here, you know. Uh, a lot of this stuff don't feel completed here on the island quite yet. But uh, I'm sure by the time some of you guys come here, all this stuff is going to be done and uh, open. But just remember, I'm here on the inaugural. So this is like a test for, for everybody, the crew, everybody. This has been a test and very much a work in progress. Look at all these mangroves. Just really thick with it. All right, we're coming up. Look at all the work they've done to cut this trail out. That's all limestone. I mean, it is hard. They have just cut it out right up through here nice and easy. It's not very far at all, by the way. I mean, we've probably not even walked a quarter of a mile. And right there is the lighthouse right there in front of us. So this is very, very nice. Very good walk. Right, so it doesn't look like you can like go in the lighthouse or anything, but they do have a sign right here as you approach the lighthouse area for your safety, stay on path. So definitely everything is very neatly roped off. Look at that beautiful ocean out there. Just the sound of those waves is just mesmerizing. All right, my friends, I have made it down here to the lighthouse point. This is an absolutely gorgeous area. Just look at that beautiful water out there and look at these rock formations. We're actually gonna go down to the beach and take a look at them because these limestone rock faces are like 60, 70 feet tall. Absolutely gorgeous. And right here is the old historical lighthouse which was built in 1901. And this lighthouse, you could see it, you know, 14 to 20 miles away depending on visibility. And this lighthouse was built here to, you know, deter ships from the, the the point here itself and all the rock and the natural reef that surrounds this island didn't want to become abandoned or shipwrecked and those ships were actually bringing like male clothing and uh, fertilizer and items like that to the islands here to help make it livable so uh pretty cool all right so we're going to say so long to lighthouse point now we're going to make our way down to the beach and go check out the the cliffs the 70 60 foot cliffs and check them out and uh i just spoke to somebody a few minutes ago that actually was down there and he said the beach is amazing and the cliffs are amazing because they're so tall they look so cool with those limestone cliffs all right my friends we have came from this direction that was the lighthouse point area right here is some more cool looking limestone cliff which that ain't nothing compared to what we're about to see here shortly but i want to show you this bird right here this here is the great lizard cuckoo and uh it's pretty cool look at that they can fly they can fly they can fly and that there is the correct way it's spelled out i hope i'm saying that correctly the great lizard cuckoo maybe 
this here is what it looks like. So if we see one, I've not really seen much uh, wildlife on this walk. I seen more wildlife the other day when I first got to the island when it was so hot and sunny. And, uh, and it, most of it was over there where I boarded the tram to come over here to Lighthouse Point. But uh, as far as on this trail walk today, I've been looking, but I mean, I've not really had much uh, luck yet. So, uh, but I'm gonna keep looking. Who knows? We might see something shortly. Man, check out these cliffs right here. They're getting a little bit taller. Look at that. This here is some limestone cliffs. This here is a part of the Discovery Trail. Look at that. That is pretty awesome looking. Pretty darn cool. So something that we can talk about just real quickly. You know, one of the things on this cruise that people have been talking about quite a bit here at Lighthouse Point or Lookout Key is they've been a little bit of a fly issue. Now, I've not really seen many flies today because it is very windy. But the other day when we was here, and I know the, the people that come on the Disney Magic for a very short one day stay, it was a very short cruise out of Miami, it was like three days. Um, that was just like a first look, like a soft opening cruise or whatever. This is the official inaugural cruise. And flies was the issue during food time, during uh, our lunch. So uh, I was speaking to one of the cast members that's taking care of our room on the board of the Disney Fantasy. And she said that this is kind of a normal thing here in the Bahamas or in these Caribbean islands. When you come in, like she's from Jamaica, she said when they go over there and they start plowing and digging and kind of unearthing things and doing a lot of construction, uh, when you unearth things, there's things on these islands that die you know, and naturally dissolve down into the ground. So when you start unearthing stuff, it starts making the crabs come out. And when the crabs show up, flies show up. And what it is, and also those flies are kind of drawn to that unearthing. There's a certain scent that's in the air after that, like when you're digging up mangroves and doing stuff like that. And that's why you have more flies. So over time, all that stuff should kind of settle down and get back to normal and the flies wouldn't be an issue in future in the future not right now right now it's still a little bit of an issue but they're working with it so uh they get it it's just brand new so if you do hear people talking about the flies that's kind of why that's a thing i don't think it's they, they don't nobody i spoke to as far as the disney cast members think this is going to be a long period problem a long time problem this is going to kind of settle down as the ground settles back down over time so just want to just throw my two cents out there on that because that's been a big topic around the dinner table here on the disney fantasy at night so i just thought i'd just throw that out there i think there is a light at the end of the tunnel just to be positive so this is some big limestone rocks right here now these ain't the 60 or 70 foot but i would say 25 very easily i mean check it out that's like a cool natural overhang so if you ever got caught down here in a rainstorm or something maybe you kind of hang out beneath that a little bit and stay dry possibly but uh look at this beautiful area they just call this the beach and they have a sign right over here and it's you know they also have warnings like swim at your own wrist and things like that but right here is the sign on the discovery trail got you a little qr code right there have some emergency information talks about sharp coral beneath the water which is definitely a thing. There's a lot of coral reef out here because this island is just surrounded by it. So that's really cool. So definitely remember, swim at your own risk if you're down here for sure. All right, my friends, we have made it out here on the beach itself. Absolutely gorgeous. This is beautiful. You can see where people are walking out of the mouth of the trail right here. And you see the limestone just kind of cruises along the banks and then they turn into these like monstrous cliffs right up here how cool and just the white sandy beach that is gorgeous this is just beautiful what this i mean that's a postcard right here when you put those rocks in it's like yeah there's your postcard absolutely beautiful and i gotta say something else and i'm sure it has a lot to do with the overcast conditions that we're dealing with today and as the cooler temperatures today it's like 82 is the high and the wind is breezy it's a lot of overcast you got a little sunshine up there but not much there's a lot of people taking advantage of these trails my goodness i cannot believe there are this many i assure you this when we was here on day one 
I bet you there wasn't nobody on these trails, man. It was so hot. There was not a lot of wind. The ocean was very calm today. It's got a little bit more chop to it. You know, this beach here is kind of open to the water where at Castaway Key, you know, you're kind of hidden. You know, the water has got that like, uh, that barrier between it and the open ocean. So it's normally very calm all the time. And uh, that's a big plus, really, if you got kids or something. Uh, so, you know, having kids here, they do have lifeguards here spread up, up and down the beach. Uh, not in this area, but on the main family beaches and stuff down through there, they have lifeguards every so often. So, uh, yeah, anytime you introduce waves into the, into the picture, you know, you wanna watch your little ones a little bit closer, for sure, just for safety measures. So. Uh, just a little point that's a little difference between the two a lot of people are going to be you know comparing the two you know naturally so you're going to compare stuff as i see my wife coming up behind me so uh that's just a little thing all right We're, we have made it down here now and it's time to take a look at these cool limestone rocks look at that is that not awesome check that out and those there are the ones that's like 60 and 70 foot tall these rocks are gradually weathered away by like wind, waves, slowly dissolving into the sand that makes up these beautiful sand beaches. So that is pretty cool little fact right there. I didn't even know that, but Disney's been really nice in their My Disney Experience app for their cruise line to give you a lot of these facts and stuff. So when you come, you can actually look a lot of these facts up if you want to know a little bit more about it. So it's pretty cool really really awesome photo op down here really beautiful and look how gorgeous the ocean is it's just breathtaking this is such a beautiful area so now we're going to make our way up here i kind of want to take a look at some of this area right here and kind of investigate this because it's a, a pretty big overhang right here all right we are kind of up here in this limestone cavern this little cave check that out look at that that is so cool. If you ever got caught down here in a little rainstorm or something, this would be a good place to kind of take refuge until it dies out maybe. As long as there ain't no lightning. If there ain't any lightning, you can forget about it. I don't think that'd be a good idea at all. But, uh, man, this is really a cool spot. Have the ocean right there behind us. It's pretty cool. This is so cool. I love finding, I love exploring and finding new places check out all those little nooks and crannies in there and that limestone little details like that drive me crazy man i love it but especially over there that's that like, really gets kind of deep so i'm going to tell you something right now there's a lot of people down here they're walking these pathways a lot of the disney cast members so when you come here i'm going to go ahead and let you know don't climb up there don't climb up on those rocks don't cross over the barriers they have stuff posted. You shouldn't be walking in certain places and climbing. So they've been quite a few cast members having to come down here and take their time to kind of shoo people off the rocks because as you can imagine, like this right here, not too bad. They're not really saying nothing about this, but they just don't want people climbing up on top of these big cliffs because they could possibly like give way or you could accidentally fall or whatever. And you know, all of a sudden here they are. There's some more going up immediately. So this is going to be kind of an issue. I would say moving forward, they won't have to do something to get this stuff posted off their own, keep people off the rocks. All right, my friends, I know we didn't see a lot of stuff on the trail walk as far as nature, animals, and things like that today, but that's okay because right here in the shallows, right off the beach, we found this little guy. This here is a stingray, man. He's just kind of dug down in the sand a little bit. He was really hard to see, and then I just kept watching him and stuff, and I put my camera down, and I think he was, he was kind of photogenic, man. He was kind of feeling it, you know, and he just sat there, and he just hung out, and then he finally scurried on up the beach a little bit further, and I just, I stopped bothering him, just let him go, you know, give him his space but really cool to see like an animal like that out in the wild like that not in captivity it was really a cool sight and then i made my way out a little bit further to the reef and i just kind of swam around the reef a little bit just to kind of get a little video footage to kind of show you what the natural reef looks like here at lighthouse point so uh really cool really beautiful underwater the the water here is so clear and beautiful and this is a huge selling point um, I even think the clarity here is a little bit better than Castaway Key, just to be honest with you. I mean, it is so crystal clear here. And Castaway Key is clear too, but it always seems like it has just a little bit more fogginess to it for whatever reason. But we're further south here. That might have something to do with it too. Uh, the further south you go, the warmer the water, normally the clearer the water is. So uh, 
but uh, really, really beautiful. I just want to share this quick little moment with you. All right, my friends, that will conclude our video today. Really, really cool hike down to Lighthouse Point. Definitely do not forget to come down here to the beach and check out these beautiful cliffs. Really, really nice. A lot of great places to take pictures, family photos, things like that. And in, in, in all hindsight, I wore shoes today, but you probably can get away with flip-flops, really. I thought it was a little bit more of a hike than what it actually ended up being. So uh, next time I come, I will probably just have my flip-flops on and just be done with it. Uh, <laughs> just to give you a little idea, that hike ain't nothing compared to the pier you're going to walk from, from your ship to the actual shore. That is 0.47 miles and takes almost 10 minutes. And this hike here was nothing nothing quite like that so uh it was probably half that or you know maybe close to that but not quite uh so that's all i got for you today i hope you enjoyed today's vlog if you're new to the channel please think about subscribing and of course if you like today's content go ahead and give it a big thumbs up it really helps me out a lot and put any comments down below of any kind of thoughts ideas are you coming to this place anytime soon what are your thoughts about it so far? All the stuff you've heard about it, what do you think? To me, I think it's a work in progress. I think Disney will get all this kind of ironed out over time. They're pretty good about that. They are, they're pretty good about that. So uh, that being said, let's take one last look at the cliffs down there, the limestone cliffs that we kind of pan around and look at the beautiful ocean. Don't mind that big old storm cloud back there cause I'm just gonna have great thoughts today and say that ain't coming here. But I'm gonna actually enjoy the ocean a little bit here shortly because I've actually kind of worked up a sweat. It's getting a little bit humid. So until next time, friends, I'm the Hitchhiking Yeti and I will see you in my next adventure. As always, y'all stay safe out there and I hope to see you again soon. And I got a feeling I will see you again soon, especially if you subscribe. It was a lot of fun today. I hope y'all enjoyed it. Thank you for hanging out with me. I'm coming, honey. She's waiting on me. I know. It's time to go swimming. Gotta keep the wife happy. Wife equals happy life. <laughs> How close he is right here. He's a good size too. There he goes down the beach. Look how beautiful clear the water is here at Lighthouse Point. This is amazing. <laughs> <laughs>